Denshing Ethereal Cloud is an incredible DPS character for bosses with multiple paths and mobbing in Yotun Tunnel, but she's a little weak when it comes to single target boss DPS. Look at the amount of damage she's doing in this clip to Hela with the buffs from Observer and Kaguya. He's absolutely melting him. In fact, he is the top DPS for a lot of the bosses in Mural Simulation. There are only a few bosses where other characters trump her in DPS. So, in terms of tiers, I would place her at SSS for the 1.1 patch and I would recommend pulling for her if you haven't done it already. When it comes to her manifestations, she doesn't really need any, so if you want to improve her DPS and farm her manifestations, I would say M3 is a good stopping point. Now, let's discuss her skills. Her standard skill is her main source of damage as it locks onto multiple parts of a boss and does a lot of damage when you have both of the standard skill clusters unlocked. The detonation damage of the slips attached to the targets is based on ballistic damage, so that is what her DPS mostly scales off of. Her support skill is decent for paralyze and new energy recovery but you are unlikely to ever use her as a support since she's probably always going to be the main on-field DPS of the team if you're using her. Her ultimate skill is very good for knock-up CC in your twin tunnel and the neural skills of resetting slip duration and ballistic damage buff are very useful. So it doesn't really do a lot of damage to make a build around her ultimate. You mostly want to rely on your standard skill for DPS. Alright, now let's begin with discussing her best DPS build. This build is all about using Amano Iwato as your logistic set to get the 50% damage buff to ADS Ballistic Damage, which increases the damage of the slips from your standard skill. You just have to ADS and hit weak spots to max out the buff ASAP and then keep shooting while ADS. Amano Iwato is way better than Ningyi, not only because it's a more consistent buff, but also because the slip damage scales better with Amano than Ningyi. Okay, now let's discuss her optimal logistic substats. For the first two substats, you want to have crit damage amplifier and attack stat, and for the third substat, you want to roll for electrical damage. For her weapons, the 5 star anti evil ward is the best weapon for her, however, you can also just buy multiple copies of Wild Lear to get it to tier 5 and it will do about 80-90% to DPS of tier 1 anti-evil ward. I skipped this banner because I don't think she needs anti-evil ward to be viable, it's just a bonus for the most part. Though if you do want to min-max her, I do not recommend skipping this weapon banner. If you don't have either of these weapons for some reason, you can use tier 5 ender instead. For the Neuronics, you want to prioritize her standard skills first, so max out the first and second node, then you max out her ultimate neural skills. And when it comes to the support neural skills, it's optional, since you won't be using her as a support with this build. Though if you want to min-max, it's good to unlock these clusters as well, so you can max out the alignment index for her Davos alignment. When it comes to team building, it's all about choosing what's best for the stage and the enemies you're facing. So I'm just going to list out a few suggestions of support characters that you can use, but use your own judgement to decide what would work best for you. The first recommendation is the Observer with Slayer Aura, preferably at M3 with Strawberry Shortcake and Twilight to reduce electrical resistance with the turrets from her standard skill. The second recommendation is M2 Kaguya with Pine Aurora, or if you have her at M0 with Prismatic Igniter. The third recommendation is Little Sunshine with Strawberry Shortcake for the aptitude as it applies on all of the slips. The fourth recommendation is Coronet with Lapis Lazuli for Rate of Fire Support and Path Breaking. The fifth recommendation is Redacted with Navigator and Prismatic Igniter. Sixth recommendation is Wednesday with Twilight to reduce electrical resistance and apply Paralyze to enemies. And the seventh recommendation is Cirrus with Lapis Lazuli for her barrier if you're having a hard time in your Tun Tunnel or Neural Simulation. And that's all for this guide. 
I hope you found this video useful and have a nice day.